What's good, y'all? It is um day seven, y'all. So we made it to day seven, y'all. A whole week, you feel me? I haven't got my workout in. I just finished um, brushing my teeth and shit like that. But y'all, we made it to day seven. So clap it up for yourself if you on this journey with me, whatever type of journey you on. Also, y'all, um, you know, I want to thank God for giving me the strength each and every day to be able to get up and the strength, you know, to be able to come talk to you on camera because you listen y'all most people think this shit's natural it's not it takes a lot of practice it takes a lot of fuck ups but at some point you eventually get it you feel me but anyways y'all um what i want to talk to y'all about today is um you know the difference between a weak person and a weak-minded person you feel me it doesn't make you a weak person you're not a weak person most people are most people who fail are weak-minded and they let, you know, the criticism, the um, outside noise get to them, you feel me? When you're working, when you're grinding, bro, you got to channel out the outside noise, you feel me? You got to cancel the outside people, you got to cancel the negativity, you got to cancel the hate. Because listen, y'all, there is, there is always good in the negative, you feel me? Start seeing the good in the negative, stop looking at things always to be negative you feel me also y'all um you're, it doesn't make you a weak person you just have a weak mind you just you're just a weak-minded person you feel me and like to get rid of that you gotta kill this you gotta kill the person that's weak and that's you that's yourself you gotta kill that weak-minded person that comes within you you feel me because being hungry being you know um Someone that wants it, having that drive, it's not planted in you. It's not something that's planted in you. You can't teach someone how to become more hungrier for success. They got to go and want it for themselves. And that's where the mindset comes in. And that's where, you know, it starts testing you on all levels. Because listen, bro, if you have a weak mindset going into things, trying new things, you're impatient. You're not going to get the results that you want. You're not going to, you feel me? It takes time, patience. But also, y'all got to realize that the devil be attacking you at your most vulnerable stages in your lives. Once you start opening that weak mindset door, the devil's going to attack you in every corner in your life. And you just going to stay down. You're going to get complacent because you don't know what to do. Well, I'm gonna tell you what you do. Get your ass up and fight back. Fight back. Because if you're gonna let what's in here defeat you, you ain't gonna be able to handle what other people say around you. Stop being a weak minded person. And don't think being a weak minded person makes you a weak person. It doesn't. It does not. But you gotta stop. Letting the shit around you affect you. Cancel out the noise. Cancel out the negativity. You feel me? The same shit that you go through your worst days, you're going to go through your most happiest days. You feel me? Celebrate your worst days. Celebrate your happy days. In silence, by yourself. You don't need a crowd to be successful. You don't need millions of people cheering you on. Cheer yourself on, because listen, you got God. And God's gonna always watch over you, you feel me? Don't let these people keep stepping all over you. Go out there, do what you gotta do. Do it for yourself, don't do it for nobody, you feel me? Just because your family says this and that, your friend says this and that, listen, fuck them. Fuck them, respectfully. Because listen, at the end of the day, nobody is seeing how much you, how much work you put in. They only see the results. And that's what's the craziest thing. People only see the results and they think you blew up overnight. No, my nigga, I put in work. 
Don't let these motherfuckers think that you a one hit wonder. You gonna be here to stay and you gonna show them motherfuckers why you should stay. I'm gonna catch y'all tomorrow. Day seven, I'm proud. Y'all should be proud of yourselves or whatever you're doing. I hope, you know, people out there are starting to do new shit. You feel me? Trying new things. That's my main objection. It's bigger than YouTube. It's bigger than myself. I just want to, you know, help other people get out their comfort zone. I'm going to catch up.